everyone, Jessica Cobasi here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over some editing techniques for makeup. So let's start out by first just simply enhancing the eyes. We're not doing anything special. We're not changing colors. Let's say you're happy with the colors and you just want to enhance the eyes. What are some techniques to do it? So let's just first make a new raster layer and you can just do that by pressing this little icon here or I just go ahead and press command shift N and that pulls up to that window that you just saw and that's like a some really small reflex so sorry if I go ahead and make raster layers really really fast let's first begin by selecting a white color um, go on over to um, overlay now with your opacity around let's start at, yeah let's start at 44 that'll be okay we're just going to go over the inside of the eye. You don't want to go out. You don't want to do this. You know, she's going to look like she's from uh, the X-Men group or something. You don't want that. You just want something really subtle and small. And you can always change your opacity layer. Layature, not layer. That's how you know um, I edit in Photoshop too much. So we're just going to go over the insides of the eye right here. And I'm not going to go over it too much. I really just like to have it, you can start out with it crazy and then you can just lower the opacity because that's what I do. So again, literally with a white you're just going over a little bit. And I would never go over this full opacity like that because it, it'll just look fake. I'm going to go ahead and make another layer. And this is going to be black color and then I'm going to go over this darker part of the eye. And the reason why I don't do it on the same layer is just because I'm, I just like to have separate layers for everything. That's just my workflow, I guess. Just a weirdo. Um, you can go ahead and darken up the insides of the eye here. And then along with this one, we can even go over that eyeshadow or the eyeliner. I usually do that. Don't do that. I don't do it too much because usually the eyeliner looks pretty good and again we're gonna lower that you want something really subtle you don't want it crazy and then another layer make a new raster layer again you can set it to black we're gonna go ahead and put it to a soft light and I'm gonna put the opacity to 22 percent that's like my magic number I don't know why I should just gamble with that number <laughs> Um, go ahead and slowly go over the darker areas so the areas that are dark like the eyeshadow dark areas of the eyeshadow and then switch over to white and I'm gonna change the opacity to 11% and I'm just gonna go over these darker or the lighter areas of the eye now And I'm, you can even go into the smaller corner of the eye. Unless you want it dark. It's really just your preference. You guys can see the difference there. Just, again, white brush. Really simple. It's a simple round brush. 0% hardness. Probably should have explained that from the beginning. Sorry. <laughs> and then we are just going over those top parts of the eyes. And you can just switch back and forth by pressing X on your keyboard. It'll change um, black to white. And then now we're going to do the white part of the eye. I, I, really wrote, wrote, I really wrote white wrong. Okay. Now, I'm actually not going to set it to a layer setting now. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it the way it is. And I'm going to softly, I don't even think that's a word. I'm just making up my own words today. I'm going to softly go over this. <laughs> um, my opacity is at 11%. And one thing that I really am careful of is that I don't go crazy with this white part of the eye. I know some people get rid of all this, but it really doesn't make it look natural, and you want it to look natural. Um, and another cool thing, you can see the reflector that I use right here. It's kind of cool. So 
Let's back out and see the difference. This is without, and this is with. Again, something very subtle. Do I usually do the eyebrows? Um, sometimes I'll fill them in, and that's kind of easy. What I would do normally is just take the color that's the inside of the brow with an eyedropper tool, um, set it to something like multiply, again, using a low opacity, and then just filling them in very slightly, something like that. But again, normally I really don't touch the eyebrows too much unless I use a clone snap and fill in anything. And another cool trick you can do is take an orange color, like a citrus orange, if you will, go on over to the eye, set it to overlay, and kind of go over it just a tiny bit, not too much. It kind of gives it like a cool, like a little bit of color. So you guys can see the difference there. Again, I'm going to show you guys on and off. So again, really subtle ways of enhancing the eyes. And again, you don't want to go full opacity on any of these. That's the whites of the eyes. Eyeshadow. And that's for around the eye, the pupil. I don't know, I'm an artist. I don't know these kind of terms. <laughs> the iris, right? And that's the inside of the eye. Um, as far as the eyelashes go, because I know I'm going to get questions about that, eyelashes, I really, really don't do too much with them. I know some artists actually draw them in, but they must have, like, superpower skills because I can't draw for anything. You can add them in, kind of like so. Um, again, opacity, 11%, really small brush, and just kind of do this little stroke motion, I guess. Some people actually use eyelash, fake eyelashes they find on DeviantArt and other websites. Personally, I don't like to use those because they look way too fake. And it looks like something from a child's beauty pageant, honestly. So I just kind of stray away from that. I just have the makeup artist put a lot of fake lashes on and I'm good to go. Now let's do the lips real fast. Now, as far as the lips go, let's say you don't like this lip color. Let's say you want to change it for any reason. You want to change it. There are a couple ways to do this. You can directly paint on the color that you want. So let's start with purple. And my opacity is at 11, so I'm going to pull it up actually all the way to 100. Just so you guys can see what's going on here. I'm just going to loosely do this. I can show you guys an example. I should just keep it like this. This looks great. There you go. That looks awesome. Okay. One thing you can do is literally just go to color. And you obviously don't want to keep it like this. You want to lower the opacity a little. And then you could even make a new curves layer. You don't want to add anything to it yet. You actually just want to make a clipping mask. So everything that you do on the layer will only affect that area you just made. And again, the way that you make a clipping mask, I'll show you really fast. I just deleted the clipping mask. Mask. I have this layer right here I will show you. Now I'm going to go over to layer, new adjustment layer, curves, and press OK. I haven't done anything yet. Now I'm going to go ahead and hold Alt, the Alt key on my Mac, and then wait till I hit the center. And once you see this, these little two um, circles overlapping, you're just going to click. And you're going to see this go right on into this. You're going to see a little arrow. That means that this layer will only affect this layer. So that is great. We're going to change this again back to color. Lower the opacity a little. Go to curves, and now you can play around with it and make it look a little more realistic. Let's just zoom on out here. I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, that looks great. 
you can make a dark, oh, there you go, you can make a blue, you can change color in here, or you can go back to your lips layer and change the color. Um, curves is great because then you can modify each separate color tone. Let's say you wanted it this pink color. You, I could do it through here. I could do it by simply going over here and selecting a pink color, red color even, and just going over. I'm literally just going over the color layer that we just made. Let's do that. And again, this is not perfect. And then I'm going to go back to my curves layer and I'm going to modify the curves to make it look more realistic. So bringing down RGB right here, can you lower the opacity on the color? There we go. You could even go ahead and add a levels layer as well. And remember, hold alt and click and it's going to follow that other layer because we don't want this layer affecting everything else. You can play with the levels. Make sure that the levels are there. Make sure that looks realistic. I don't really use these little things too often, but I'm always like, oh, they must be here for something, right? So very subtle. I actually like how that looks. That looks pretty good. So I will show you guys now the before and after. And let's say you want to change the eyeshadow now. Let's do a funky, let's do blue. Let's do this teal blue. Again, I'm going to just go, actually I'm going to start out by going to color with a 22% opacity and simply color in the areas that I want to change. Can I give myself an idea? So something like that. Go even lower, op I'm gonna go to 11% opacity actually too. Something like that. And obviously you don't want to keep it like this. You want to lower opacity. And then I will usually go in with um, a black brush and kind of solidify it in there. Go back to the eyeshadow color brush. Let's actually just do the whole lid. Why not, right? Our layer is set to color. And honestly, I don't really do this too often, but I have done it before. I'm going to go ahead and go to the white color. And I'm literally just lowering the opacity on the color layer. Um, now I'm bringing an overlay layer and I'm bringing in some whites just to kind of fill it, like staple it in or make it more bold. And I'm literally just making new layers and going over it with black and white. And then, I know, I literally know what you're gonna say, you make a lot of layers, I'm sorry, but this is what I do. I literally have a separate layer for everything. I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer and set it to multiply this time, and use another shade of blue and just go over everything. So pretty much I like to make a base, and that was my base, just adding the color layer and then um, a black and white soft layer and overlay layer, which is a lot of layers. And now, again, we're setting this last layer to multiply. And multiply is really nice for this because it really makes it look cool. 
And again, opacity is only at 11%. You don't want to go too crazy with this. So I'm just adding everything in there, making it look all nice and proper. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this opacity. That's looking pretty good to me. And I'm going to show you guys the before and after. So this is the before makeup and this is after. And you can just make one big layer on top of every, everything and just make a curves layer and make it all work together. And it's really simple. Usually for makeup changes, um, I'll use the multiply layer and the color layer only. I won't tinker with other stuff. Um, but again, these are some of my techniques and I'll most likely come up, come up with another tutorial showing hair and changing other things. Um, request any tutorials that you liked. Hopefully this helped you. Um, I'm sorry for making so many layers, but again, I'm just the kind of person I need everything on a separate layer just because I'm a, just paranoid and weird about that. So I hope this helped you anyways. And thank you so much for